How's it guys? Uh, today we're looking at all the unique and interesting locations on every map you might not know about. So we'll start with Mosquito. And then we are right here by the grocery store. Uh, we're going to head all the way to the left. And for our, our newer players, there's a hot food stand where you can eat for free once an in-game day. And then we head up and across the bridge. On the right is the administration. You can actually get spare Blow tackle and spare spinning tackle if you run out. And on the left is the player house. Uh, you can mount some of your trophies and show off some of your rods and reels and things. And some of your awards if you have any. And you can futilely try and pick up the kettlebell. And then beyond that, well, most people will know about the house and and the food. Uh, what some people might not know about is this place right here. The taxi demo shop. This is how you mount your trophies. And if you have a dream fish fighter, which you receive from events, you can mount fish for free. But that's that. Those are the interesting and unique places for Mosquito Lake. On to the next one. And we are now on Winding Rivulet. Which has a few interesting places. Uh, for the newer players once again. A free food place. You can eat free once a day. For people who are trying to level up their skills, the farmer's market, where you can buy feed, eggs, potatoes, potatoes you can make, uh, bait, it's very expensive though. Uh, the more economical version is the eggs where you make egg dough. I think it's called egg dough. What's it called? Wait. Yeah, egg dough. It's the cheapest, most efficient way to level up your bait crafting. And then next up, some place you might not have noticed, because it's tucked all the way in the back here, in the forest, is the sawmill. They sell wood, so you can make homemade lures. Uh, it can't get a little bit expensive. Like one piece, ten silver, crazy. And that is that for Winding Rivulet. Uh, let's move on to the next place. We are now on the next place, which is Oldberg, which doesn't have a whole lot in the way of unique places. However, what it does have going for it is it has the cheapest grocery store out of the whole game, uh, where you will pay only 80% of what you will pay on other maps. So if you are in need of some food, pop on over to Old Bet and their only unique place, which most people will know about, is the uh, class stand. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, probably not. Uh, we can Buy a whole bunch. Uh, interestingly, with this stuff, is that it increases your energy, similar to what coffee does. So if you are running along coffee, or you want something a little different for the hot maps, uh, you come and you buy this stuff. Uh, that is that for 
old Berg. Let's move on to the next spot. Uh, next, we are on uh, Belaya River, where the unique locations are. Right here, uh, we have a cassette player. Uh, the ATM is a little card machine, which was pretty cool. And we have a guitar, uh, where if you play a couple of notes in the correct order, uh, you'll receive an achievement called Guitar Hero. Uh, you're supposed to play um, the notes A, M, F, C, and E uh, four times each in a row. And you will get the achievement. It will sound like this. And that's how that is done. And unfortunately, that is all I have to show you for Belay River. So on to the next one. All right, next up we have uh, Curry Lake, which has a few little interesting things. And I will start with the house. Uh, this is a house that you as a player can own. You can purchase it. And you can see it's a little bit steep. Oh, 90% off. Damn, okay, that's pretty cool. So if you're looking for the house, it's on special. Good time to buy it. Let's go have a look inside. Right, you can mount uh, some of your rods up here. Put some awards, put some reels. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, we've got spots for trophies, uh, more rewards. Uh, you can mount your trophy fish on the wall. What else do we have? We have a little speaker for music. Yeah, got a TV. Fireplace, you can put more rewards up here. Uh, yeah. That's the player house. So I decorate it, invite your friends over, and show off all your cool stuff. Hey, cool. Look at that. That's really cool. Oh. So that's the house. Next up, we have a few little stores here that you cannot find on other maps. Uh, one is the dairy, which you can buy milk, cottage cheese, not regular cheese, sour cream. That's how you make a lot of your baits and stuff. And we have this, uh, Carla and Vodka. You can buy smoked trout, which is quite expensive. Uh, it is five portions, but yeah. And you can buy some vodka, which is quite nice. I drink that and you will receive more XP when you catch a fish. And the next location is way back here. This is where you can buy handmade lures. So anything you can make yourself, you can buy here. So if you can't make it yet and you really want one, you can come and you can purchase it. However, they all cost gold and it can get a little bit expensive. So if you've got some disposable income you want to throw away, just come here and grab some of these. If you don't, you're going to have to make it yourself. And uh, those are all the unique locations for Curry Lake. Uh, let's move on to the next. Right, we are on Bear Lake, which actually does not have a lot of locations at all. It's just mostly a lake. We do, however, have a few vehicles, uh, which most people will know about. But they've added now a feed mixes vehicle where you can uh, make your own ground bait just like that however it does cost gold so if you don't mind spending a little bit of money it's very easy to make your your ground baits with this 
And that is all I have to show you for Bear Lake. So let's move on to the next. Alright, next up we are on the Volkov River. Um, known for their fair prices. And known for having tons of stock. It rarely goes out of stock here. I have seen it on occasion, but it's very rare. And but the, the first unique thing I want to show you is the fact that they have a ferry. Now the ferry travels along this line from there to there. Now most people will know about this. So you just come here and you grab it and you travel to the next place. Uh, you don't need a boat or anything like that. Next interesting thing is they have two grocery stores, two fish markets, and two tackle stores. Um, although the, the stocks can be quite limited here. So if you really want something badly, you're going to have to go to the, the main little village. Okay, and my third location is over here. So I'm going to go travel there by boat. I'm going to have to go all the way around here and down here. Or perhaps this way and end up here and I will show you our last unique location for this area I will see you guys when I get there right we have reached our destination it took a bit of time we are over here on the map and our last little secret that I want to show you our last little unique location you come here, park your boat, hop off, and here, inside this little shed, we have a grocery store. Uh, yeah, it sells moonshine for very cheap. Oh. So it's basically a moonshiner. <laughs> I think that's a little, that's a very interesting little touch they put there. Unfortunately, we can't go back into the, into the village on top there, but, uh, that was a nice little touch. So, if you, if you need some liquor to, uh, warm up your character and make you comfortable on those rainy days, you just hop on over here, come inside, grab some moonshine. So, it's a little expensive. Under portions of 400 silver. But yeah, that's that's that. Uh, and that's the last thing I wanted to show you for uh, Volkov River. Uh, let's move on to the next. We are on the Stavorsky Donitz River, which has uh, some very diverse fishing from like 10 grams to 700 kilos uh, fish sizes. Which is pretty nuts for such a tiny little river. Anyway, we are by the fish market and the hardware store, and we're gonna go here past the cafe to see our unique location. Well, there's actually a few on this map, and here is one of them Shop Vakulo. Where you can get some, uh, these are light. Um, tele sticks. And uh, there's some um, ultra light tele sticks. Uh, this is, has a low capacity of 3.1. It's actually not bad at all for ultra light. These are really cool if you want to get uh, dice and all those kind of things. Bleak. And then they've got some hooks. And they've got some very, very nice uh, barbers, which are camouflaged. Very, very cool. And they're not badly priced as well. And then onto our next position. Gonna climb up the hill. And we're gonna go to the mill. And here you can get wheat flour and corn flour in, in bags of 20 portions. Uh, you can use those to make bait 
like uh, I believe oatmeal. Use nope, not that one. Uh, sweet thyme. there, wheat flour. Maybe we can use that. And then you can get cornmeal, which uses corn flour that you can get here. And then on to our third place, which is right here. It's one of the coolest looking maps as well, I think. Into the bakery where we can buy bacon, bread and some liquor. It's a bit expensive. And yeah, what can you do? Uh, and those are our secret locations for the Donuts River. On to the next one. Right, next up guys, we are on the Sura River. Uh, we're in the little town here. Um, there's two interesting places here. One of them is right up top here. There is a water mill. Uh, it doesn't actually do anything. You can't purchase anything. Uh, but it does really look. It looks really cool. So if you want to go have a look at it, uh, I recommend it. Uh, the second location that you can actually do something is up here. So uh, it's going to take a little bit to travel there. So. I will let you guys know when we get there. Alrighty, uh, we have reached the right place. So, uh, sorry, it wasn't up here, it's actually over here. But, uh, we're gonna go around the corner here. And it's not terribly unique, but it is an interesting location. So, let's have a look. Now we have a farmer's market, just like on Winding. You can buy your various bacon and potatoes and eggs and things and wheat grains and feed oh. so oh wait ah oh, it's just the uh, different options but yeah that's the interesting locations on the Sura River and I'm actually gonna end this video here uh, I will do the rest of the maps in a part 2 so if you guys enjoyed this, uh, drop a like, subscribe, and uh, if you know of any spots that I missed in the locations I have covered, uh, please let me know in the comments. Uh, if it's not a location I've covered today in this video, please do not let me know because I'll, I'll add those in the part two. Anyway, thank you guys. Cheers. Take care.